Dear ones, I am Archangel Michael. Today we will begin a new journey. As I mentioned at the beginning of the week, we are going for a walk along the rays, having as hosts, each master of each ray. So here, I will be the announcer for the film. We will be, each of you and I, participating in a great film, in each of your lives. You will now understand where I'm going. So I will coordinate, I am the director of the film. The one who will call the right people, our hosts, so that they can help each of you on this journey. Just to get your bearings, we will walk in a big circle. It won't be a straight line, and between the passage, between each color of this circle, it will be like an important mark, where each of you will arrive. It will be very interesting. I have planned something very interesting for you. As I already said here, the rays are nothing more than different frequencies, each acting at certain points. Each ray has its master, the Elohim, and the Archangels. No, I cannot forget that each master has his or her partner. And each of you will walk through this circle, guided by each of them, by each master. I would like you to enter this circle, with an open heart. Don't try to find out who the master is on this journey. Don't try to feel, ah, I liked this one. I didn't like this one very much, this will tell you nothing. If the time is right and you have an open heart, that master of that ray may present himself to you. Remember, the spiritual masters are not just composed of the masters of the rays, there are many others. So no need to try to guess who it is. As long as you try to guess, you will achieve nothing. It is something that will have to touch the hearts of each of you. But that's not the topic. The subject here is this walk, so that you understand the importance of each ray. I have already explained here about birth and the rays. So disconnect yourself from any rules. What you will feel within each ray will be an experience for each of you. It will be a unique experience. So don't compare, ah, I lived this and you lived that. I would say it will be a unique and strictly personal experience. But as I know that you have a huge tongue, and are not content to live things for yourself, I would say that you should be very careful, who you talk to, what will happen. I can tell you that you will be rocked by the energy of each ray. It's as if during the walk, each of you is taking a shower, a bath of that light. And everything will happen according to your moment, your belief your degree of receptivity and confidence in what is happening. Then you go the next day and talk to someone, who had a totally different experience. Then you'll think, wow, mine was so silly. It's over, you just lost the opportunity to stay in that energy. You received, what you were ready to receive. That other brother received what he was ready to receive. So there is no comparison. But you will feel inferior and then it's over for you. You will lose all the energy you received. Do you understand that this is an individual journey for each person? I'm not here doing this for you to post what happened on your social media. I want everyone to live the experience alone, internally. If you really can't stand it and want to comment, wait until the end of the journey, wait for the end of the walk. Then you can comment, because then it's over. I've already said it here and I'll say it again, don't compare yourself to anyone, no one is better, no one is worse, no one is ahead, no one is late. Everyone is where their soul is. Understand my brothers, many of you feel behind in relation to others. But you don't understand why. But there is why. You will certainly still have to go through some tests before you get to where that other guy got to. You have different walks different life positions, different life attitudes. Nothing goes unpunished, nothing goes unnoticed. So, whether it is advanced or delayed depends a lot on the path of the soul. But they will all get there. If you strive for it, if you are ready for it, if you want it. It's not punishment, it's harvest. We cannot simply erase what has been done. We cannot close our eyes and simply not see the journey of each of you. This doesn't exist. So many are having difficulty walking. Look back, look at your walk and you will understand why. And every day that you understand why, you start walking again. 
so don't think that you won't get there. Go, because you have a mission, which is your ascension. But you cannot forget the journey you took. So just trust that everything will come at the right time. When all that dirt you gathered has been eliminated from your path. Because even you evolved souls carry behind you a bag with a lot of dirt, with a lot of ugly things, with a lot of things not suitable for a being of light. And all of this has to be eliminated, all of this has to be erased. I'm not saying here that erasing all this will be easy. But you can try, and it will depend a lot on how much you want to get rid of this dirt, how much you really want to walk towards the light, how much you want to forgive, how much you want to ask for forgiveness, so that this dirt starts to become liquid and comes out of the bag. So this is the objective of this walk. Now, each of you will reach the end of this journey, with your bag practically empty or the same way. It will depend on each person, on the choices they each make. It will be a very interesting walk and you will all be able to participate. I hope everyone is ready. Remember, my brothers, the goal is for each of you to go through the transition in the easiest and least traumatic way possible. This bag of dirt cannot go to the fifth dimension. This dirt has to be transmuted. So there is an opportunity. I tell everyone who is here today that starting this journey is a path of no return. You can start over halfway, and there won't be a second walk either. So there are some rules in this film. There will be seven rays, seven days. We will finish at the end of next week. So whoever starts today will finish at the end of next week. Whoever starts tomorrow will finish at the beginning the next week. So it's not for those who start tomorrow. Go back to the first ray. No, you will start at the specific radius of the day. Explain the days, please. Well, today is Wednesday, the 22nd, Thursday 23, Friday 24, Monday 27, Wednesday 29, Thursday 30th and Friday 31st that's it. So whoever starts today will finish on the 31st whoever starts tomorrow won't start today, they'll start tomorrow. Afterwards, the exact sequence of the rays will be placed next to this video. So please, today we're going to start with blue ray. Tomorrow is the yellow ray. So whoever starts tomorrow will start with the yellow ray. Then there is the pink ray. Whoever starts on Friday, starts with the rosa radius and so on. Anyone who starts after the 31st can then return to the blue radius. You complicate things too much. I hope you understand. I don't want anyone starting in the middle of the road, on the blue ray. From today until the 31st, whoever enters the middle of the path will make the damn day, it will begin on the daylight. Was I clear? Very good. Another rule, you did the blue ray today, you didn't do it tomorrow. The next day, you will make the radius of the day and start from there. Did you understand? One day failed. I'm not here considering the Saturday and Sunday that we won't have as a failure. You failed. You forgot, you can't, it doesn't matter. Start again, from the day you start, within the radius of that day. I think there is no more doubt. But this will all be written. I already know it will be a barrage of questions. But that's okay, it will be written and whoever asks will receive what is written. Did you understand? Shall we get up from the hammock and look? It's not about lying in a hammock and asking and asking, what do I have to do? Get up and look, because it will be written there. Let's stop being lazy. Very good.